My name is Patrick, and I'm calling from the Rolling Hills of West Virginia, where I'm working. And my question is about Tellurian Energy. They've gotten their financing squared away for their Driftwood LNG export facility. Construction is yet to begin. They should be uh, exporting in 2025. I bought when it was less than a dollar, and they went above four. They've had some bullbacks lately, but is now a time to buy more, hold what I have, and wait, or sell what I have for a profit? All right. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, Jeff, this is not a name we typically talk about. Um, what's your take on Tellurian? Yeah, not a typical name, but I think for me, I would be taking profits here. I'll start with the chart, and I think maybe you could play it for a trade, but more fundamentally, uh, I think I'd want to reduce my position here. But the chart looks pretty good. In the near term, it's making higher highs, higher lows. It looks like there's resistance kind of in that upper $6 range. So maybe you get some upside just from a technical perspective. But fundamentally, I think you've seen some of the contracts with the buyers relative to Driftwood go from longer term fixed fee to something that's a little bit more variable. So at current LNG prices, the profitability looks pretty good. But five years from now, I don't think you really know. Uh, you saw them pull that debt offering a couple of weeks ago. Sort of unclear why, in my view, uh, in terms of why that happened. I, I think if you want exposure to the LNG space, you actually play in ticker LNG, Chenier. It's a company I've liked for a long time. I think it's more stable. Still some upside. Looks like it's about to break out to new highs. So I would rather be there. All right. Uh, Guy, what do you tell Patrick? What's that animal that has a memory like an elephant, Melms? It always escapes me. It's an elephant. It, <laughs> look at you. See, that's why I asked you the questions. And I mentioned that because I think it was September 14th that Jim Cramer, the great Jim Cramer, had Sharif Suki on, the CEO of Tellurian, and he talked about potentially being the largest nat gas play in the country. They did do that 25 million share secondary, I hear you. But to answer your question, remember this. It doesn't matter where you're long. It only matters where it's going. And I think it's going higher because I think nat gas, which has been on a rocket ship higher, can go even more, uh, even go higher than where we're currently trading. So I like this play. Listen to that CEO interview if you missed it. I think it goes higher from here. All right. Let's get to our next viewer question. I have a question about ExxonMobil. Natural gas is, they're saying it's going to go up. I think inflation is going to take off because the government's dumping so much money into the system and the printing presses are going. So, therefore, I think ExxonMobil will do quite well. What do you think? What do you think, Mike Coe? Well, uh, I obviously do think that there is some potential upward pressure on oil prices and on the product prices. And, of course, that can be a bit of a tailwind. Of course, they also have costs as well. So this is a, a little bit of a double-edged sword. Really, the issue is whether or not they can preserve or expand their margins. And, of course, for Exxon, they have several demands on their cash flow, massive debt that they have to cover, uh, dividends, obviously, share repurchases. These are all things that the company has done, wants to do, but they don't really have the excess cash flow to do all three of those, I think, really comfortably. So I'm not hugely excited about Exxon, but I do think it's going to track with oil prices, and I do think in the near term oil prices are going higher. Yeah. Guy? I agree with the oil prices going higher. I think J.P. Morgan the other day took them off their focus list, remained a $65 price target, I think valuation for Exxon, at least, is on the lower end of the scale. You don't have the same leverage as you do in some of these other companies, but I don't think you're going to get hurt here in Exxon. But with that view of oil going higher, which, I, again, I agree with, I think you want to be in the more levered names. And they would be sort of the oil service names and some of the names like PSX that we talk about from time to time. So, again, I think Exxon is fine here, but I think you can get more bang for your buck in some of those other highly levered names.